Food production is now exceeding what we need to feed everyone in this planet. But yet, we still find that there's close to 800 million people that are hungry every day. And so to me, when I think about this challenge that hunger presents in our world, I think about a challenge that actually has a solution. We have a vision for a world that is hunger free. A world in which no parents have to tuck their children in at night, worrying about where they're going to be able to feed them the next day. For a number of years, one of the main responses when we find people that are facing hunger has been to deliver food. Food aid is part of the solution to a hunger-free world but it's a short-term solution that's inadequate in addressing the causes of hunger. And what we need to do is think about long-term solutions that set people up to be sustainable and to be able to feed themselves going into the future. In a refugee setting, hunger-free can only be achieved through bringing in food. But in a community setting that practices subsistence farming, it can be achieved through food production for themselves. The starting point is somebody who is food insecure or hungry. We feed them for the short term, but during that time, the time that we are freed, we ask them to invest it in building an asset that we know will actually be useful for tomorrow. In less than 18 months, people have built an asset, and in this particular instance, a fish pond. And at the end of 18 months, they have been able to sell and harvest out of that fish pond, coming from not having enough to eat, and in 18 months, having to actually invest in an asset is amazing for me. We saw programs that were working really well at eradicating hunger. And so this really inspired us about what would be possible if this could be taken to scale. We go to that community, we invest, we lean in, we commit, but when we leave, we leave them in a place in which they are hunger free, in a place in which they are hunger proofed, where they are growing enough, they're generating enough to be able to take care of themselves and develop their own community. We believe we can make a difference to end hunger and end the causes of hunger and create a hunger free generation in a hunger free world but we need to start somewhere. And so what we're gonna do is ask on World Food Day for you to do something simple. To sit down and celebrate food. We want you to think about your favorite foods. We want you to think about your favorite people. And we want you to come together and have a meal. What we want you to do is when your check comes, when your bill comes, we want you to take that, we want you to look at the amount, and we simply ask that on World Food Day, you double it. Take the amount that you paid, and then donate that amount to the Hunger Free Movement. It's that simple. We believe this small act can be a powerful message, a powerful message of change. And we can all stand up together and say everyone deserves the right to have enough food today and tomorrow. Hunger Free begins with the 800 million people who go to bed hungry every day. If we can reduce that number to an absolute zero, we'll be talking of a hunger free world.